Hey, so uh, just tell us who you are and what you do for the show here. How are you doing? My name is Lisa O'Connor and I'm the makeup artist on The Voice of Ireland. Great. And um, do you come up with most looks yourself or is it with the artists or where does the inspiration come from? The inspiration, you kind of work a lot with the stylists on the show and hairstyles. You work as well kind of with what their their song choice is as well. You have to also take, and it's a slightly different concept on the show, you have to work that the contestants have to feel comfortable. So you wouldn't be trying to completely overhaul them or like some of the contestants don't like wearing blush. So you just have to make them look good for TV, but making sure that they feel comfortable as well. So, so you find a middle ground. A middle you're... ground and then kind of take a little bit of inspiration from them. Okay, and um, what kind of products do you prefer to use? Or I use a mixer of products. I have my own uh, makeup brand out called War Paint, so I use a lot of that. I also use some MAC products as well because I like their pigments, which come across really good on TV. Um, I've been using a lot, which a lot of people have been asking me about, um, which is the glitter that's used on Sharon Core. It's actually an Urban Decay glitter liner, so um which comes in uh, many different colors and uh, has been a lifesaver on the past few shows so yeah. and um do you focus much on uh, skin texture or do you kind of focus on things like the glitter or you yeah, focus an awful lot of it is like the the lighting on the particular show is it's quite a strong light it's quite a red tone that's in it so which is kind of a saving grace on with skin tone you get away with a lot more obviously you have to keep things to a certain extent matte so the one area that you play up would be probably eyes and the one area but that always seems to come across well on tv is that little bit of sparkle so you'll always know my work by there's always a little bit of sparkle on it and if i could get away with it on the guys i would yeah and it's always did, next week yeah and <laughs> um, how did the guys feel about makeup on that I mean, they're good you know they're fine like initially like when we were doing back in the day when when before they even went into the blind auditions when they were having like just their interviews and stuff they had to have a little bit of powder they're, some of them are a bit taken back, like so Graham, and then Graham would come in now every week and he'd sit down and quite happy to. I think once the guys actually see, if they look back on the show and they see, does it actually make a difference to my skin? Yeah. You know, that they don't look completely made up. So. Yeah, and Brian today was going for a facial there with the Brian was going for a facial, yes. Yeah. So and Brian, yeah, Brian so looks bring back the metrosexual. Yeah, type well, of I, thing, think, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's going, I think it's a little bit more out there than people are inclined to admit. Yeah, definitely. So. so what were your, who are your favourite people to work with and kind of your favourite looks from the show? With my f oh, I have to say, that's not, my my little doll who actually who went last week was Kelly Blaze. Absolutely loved working with her. Um, a lot of the girls, I just love I love working with the girls. But it's great having a female presenter on the show as well, yeah. so I can kind of play around with a lot of stuff with Catherine, and then of course have Sharon. So yeah, you know, so it's like love the guys, but it's a little bit like yeah, whatever. You know, it's done. Yeah, it's only you're serving a purpose. It's not it's yeah. nothing creative there, yeah, but it's yeah. just good to kind of play around with the. Kind of, you know, with the girls. Like some of the girls are a little bit more subdued in the styles that they like, but a majority they're they like to kind of experiment. So it's a bit of fun each week. Yeah, that's cool. Um, metallic uh, eyeshadows seem to be a big thing for Catherine Thomas in particular, um, and kind of uh, pewter and smoky eyes and stuff. Oh, like Catherine that. works well with yeah. a smoky eye. I mean, I did yeah, it definitely. like kind of for the battle shows and for the blind auditions. We did go smoky week one. I still have hair it back a little bit because we thought people might be a little bit sick of like just seeing the smoky eye and looking back on the shows myself I went right now we're going back to smoky eye I know what suits her so yeah you know if it suits you stick with yeah, it so it broke don't fix it exactly yeah exactly and then you talked about Sharon Core, like you know she's um she had such a kind of set um style when she was in the cores and now she's been voted Ireland's uh, most stylish woman on the VIP awards last week um has that have you seen her style change throughout her the style show? has changed i mean um like i grew up with the cores and the cores were all about the smoky eye but they define that what a smoky eye is all about which is in black eyeliner it's all about a smoked kind of no edge to eyeshadow sharon knows exactly what she wants she's always done her own makeup so she kind of she was the one really introduced me to the glitter liner and worked with it and then i've kind of worked with her to kind of maybe work on a slightly different look. I mean, she works with another makeup artist that she's worked on a couple of photo shoots with. So I've seen and gone, yeah, this works, this works. So she's kind of, we have her slightly, slightly evolved, slightly changed in her look. So okay, looking great. forward to playing around a little bit more on the, the 
next few weeks. Cool. And um, how much does the fashion and catwalks and things like that influence them, or is it really more working it with their personalities? It doesn't. It doesn't really. It doesn't like catwalk would influence fashion. Yeah. That's one thing I I say is it doesn't interest when or when people talk about trend on a catwalk. Your more trend is you'll see it more on the red carpet than a catwalk. So yeah. it's kind of nearly like a play on it when it's on on the catwalk. But on the, the red carpet you go, oh, somebody's doing that kind of like Mad Men that type of look. Yeah. Or the smoky eye, or you know, the smoky eye is always going to come around, but there's always going to be different versions of it. So. Yeah, that's great. Okay, okay. thanks very much for talking to no us. No problem. Yeah, cool. Thanks.